Students, let us resume our explanation of the poem which we started uh, uh, of while we while back. We were there uh, at uh, line number five, like that of a corpse. Poet is comparing her old senile aging mom with a corpse. Corpse, you must be knowing a dead body. Corpse, a dead body. Which features of uh, a dead body uh, are uh, similarly seen in the very posture or the gesture of the poet's mother? First, those, second, open mouth, and third one, a sheen. A sheen, pale, lackluster, faint, absolutely lugubrious face like that of a dead body. The poet's mother's face has become due to aging. Let us begin. And realized with pain. Now the poet is realizing the pain. What act or pain is realized by the poet here? The pain of separation. The pain of aging. Some nostalgic feelings are felt by Kamla Das here. She is feeling the pain of separation. It is not so that she is getting separated first time from her mom. Obviously in past many a time, but at that time the separation was transitory, or was temporary. But this time it can be forever. This is the pain uh, the poet is realizing. Realizing the pain that she was as old she looked. Now the poet's mother is looking terribly old and no doctor in the world wishes to see her mom in such a bizarre, such a clumsy and such a critical, such a miserable, such a deplorable, such a drastic condition there. She was uh, finding her mama in an absolutely miserable pathetic condition due to aging. Now she looked but soon put that thought away. She uh, was not finding uh, really happy herself looking at her aging mom. Therefore, in order to shift her mood from sad uh, to normal, she started looking outside of the window of the car. And what scene she cited? Let us check it out. Thought away and soon put that thought away and looked out of at young trees sprinting. Now you see, when we talk about uh, the feelings of a poet when she was looking at her mom inside of the car, she was dejected, she was distraught, she was lugubrious, she was dejected, she was cheerless and absolutely uh, 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 crestfallen she was. But the moment she looked out at, outside of the window of the car, the scene, the sights of the car was total contrast there. She was able to see young trees sprinting sprinting dashing dashing out of the ground running very fast there trees cannot sprint here the poet uses the figure of speech personification trees are sprinting and they are young they are young so young tree in sprinting this is the sight she's witnessed outside of the window of the car perhaps the trees grown on both of the side of the road they give the illusion illusion uh, delusion uh, to uh, uh, poet Kam, uh, Kamla Das, they are sprinting. They actually don't. Actually, it is a sheer example of relative velocity. Whenever we are in a moving vehicle, uh, we see outside of the uh, a car or a train or a bus, we find the trees sprinting or dashing back. Actually, they don't. The same uh, uh, cycle has been uh, mentioned over here by uh, the poet Kamla Das. Figure of speech she uses, sprinting. Trees never sprint, but it gives the illusion, it gives the assumption to Kamla Das, they sprint. And marry children spilling out. Marry, happy. Marry, happy. Children spilling out, coming out in great number. Spilling, coming out of that great number. Here the poet uses the figure of speech, metaphor. Here the poet uses the figure of speech, metaphor. Now, let me explain both of the lines together. Getting deserted, uh, looking at uh, the aging uh, mother's face, she, uh, for a change, started getting her glance uh, outside of the window of the car. And she witnessed the two sides, young trees sprinting and the happy children coming out of the homes there. 
the poet uses these two expression in order to put up a sheer contrast to her as in mom. Mom inside the car was inactive, was passive, was pensive, was old, was stabilized, was mobilized. She was not moving at all there, but the trees grown outside of the car, they were dashing, they were sprinting, and the children, quite young, enthusiastic, very much happy, very much cheerful, they are coming out of the home happily there. So these two expressions are used by poet. One, obviously, is an example of personification, young tree sprinting, and the second is married children spilling, is an example of metaphor, the figure of speech. And why uh, the poet uses these two expressions? In order to put up a contrast to her as a mom who was sitting inside of the car lifelessly without any vitality of life, without any exuberance of life. Seen outside of the car was full of lividity, was full of life, full of exuberance, full of uh, enthusiasm, full of fervor, full of gene, full of gusto. But the scene outside of the uh, 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 inside of the uh, the car was absolutely immobilized, absolutely stagnant, uh, unhappy, sad, lugubrious, dejected, absolutely crestfallen. Therefore, the poet uses uh, these two expressions in order to put up a contrast.